Well, this is Michael DeVille coming to you from beautiful Scottsdale, Arizona. Look, a couple things I want to talk to you about is that we are getting really close to the end of a business cycle. Now, when you're ending a business cycle, it doesn't just stop. It doesn't say, well, you know, it's going to stop Wednesday. It's a process. It can take a couple of months. It can take six months, but we're getting pretty long in the tooth. And of course, you have a lot of us, a lot of uh, interference with the central banks. They really want to elongate this as long as they can, and they've they've done that. But you need to recognize the fact that we're getting to the end of a trend, and a trend has been your friend. So if you've been in a stock and bond market, if you've been in a stock market, you've done exceptionally well. You've done uh, probably tripled or quadrupled your money depending on when you got in. So my advice to you is when you recognize the fact that you're getting to the end of a business cycle, it is time to do something about that. And you do not need to be fully invested all the time. So what I'm going to recommend is that you talk to your professional about an exit strategy. And maybe you consider taking half or two thirds of your money off the market. If you started with a million dollars, you probably have uh, two or three million now. So take a million off, Make take a million and a half off. And uh, you can still enjoy a little bit of the of the market, but you're going to be working with uh, with uh, gains, not necessarily your original principal, which just makes very very good prudence and very very good uh, business sense. Now, what are you going to do with that money? So here's what I'm going to I'm going to suggest to you is that if we're coming to the end of a business cycle and the asset classes in that business cycle have run out and they're starting to top too. Now, <clears throat> the stock market is coming to an end. And it's been going about seven and a half to nine years. So it's a pretty long business cycle. So when the stock market cycle ends, it can be a pretty brutal ending. And at my age, we are not in it for the long haul. We're not, we can't take a 60%, 50%, 70% hit on our money. So let's take some of it off and let's be conservative. Same with the bonds. Now, July 2016, we bottomed 1.6 on a 10-year. Now it's over three. So that's gone up 70 or 80%. That's a really, really big move. And of course, if you've been holding bonds, you've suffered losses from that. And it's going to continue because bonds are going to go down. Interest rates are heading up. So what I'm going to say to you is that let's change an asset class. Now, here in real estate, we also have a cycle. Our cycle is really, really long. It's about 18 and a half years long. We're just coming to the mid course. So here's the thing with mid courses. We generally get a correction seven and a half to nine and a half years out. So if we talk about the bottom, I mean, we're here in Phoenix. I mean, we're the poster child for excesses during the uh, great uh, uh, real estate bubble. And of course, we're trying to, to try to date that. It's either late 2009, early 2010, when we officially bottomed. And uh, let's just call it 2010. Let's call it January 1st, 2010. That should be good enough for our, our, our needs. So seven and a half years uh, to nine and a half years is typically when we have a real estate correction. So here we are. It takes seven and a half from January 2010. 17 and a half. Puts a smack dab in the middle. So we're looking for a correction ourselves. So we need to be kind of cautious about this, but we love the income. But here's the, here's the secret to this, is that it's going to be a correction in a uh, ongoing bull market. So really it's just a mid-course correction. So even though it could correct, you know, we're probably gonna hold this five or 10 years. So odds are the property is gonna go back up in value by the time uh, we really need to sell it. So I'm more concerned about taking income, Particularly at my age, you know, income becomes more important sometimes than the, than the price. So we're not going to sell this asset. So let's just get the income. So we can still get, if you put a million dollars, you can still get $50,000, $60,000 uh, first year. And of course, we've been growing income. So if you'd have bought uh, properties two or three years ago, that $50,000, that would be seventy or $80,000. So uh, it's just it's just a very, very compelling uh very, very compelling uh, investment for yourself. Now, a couple things that are happening in, in the real estate, then we already talked about the stock and bond markets. We know that they're, they're top. We've been talking about them ad infinitum. But uh, CoreLogic, which is a real estate uh, statistical company, has come out and said that uh, they think that uh, 50% of the U.S. market is probably overpriced. We concur. We think a lot of things uh, are, are overpriced. And uh, uh, we think that there's going to be a correction. However, you know, here's the dilemma. Uh, we also think we need income, so uh, you really need to sit down so we can really talk to you and find out what it is that uh, is going to work out best for you. But we're here to help. So in any way we can, please give me a call. This is Michael from Scottsdale. God bless you.